when you fix the leaks in the floor and then it just leaks to the door even worse. Uh, I guess we could talk about the rover now. So this will be new vlog update. This is going to be kind of boring, uh, but informative about what's been going on with the discovery. <coughs> um, honestly, don't remember where I've left off. I know the last video I'm putting up, I think it's going to be the Ocala trip, which is going to be coming up this week in a couple days. Um, as right now, outside the rover, sitting about the same. Um, snorkel has been installed. Um, aside from that, I've been working a lot on the interior. Um, <clears throat> so a couple things with interior, obviously I got paint going down right now. Um, and the driver seat's missing, but we actually uh, finished the four boards, or at least the majority of it. Um, patched up all the holes and made essentially new four boards in the areas that needed it. Um, prepped it up and then now working on painting. Um, so this paint you see is truck bed liner, trust uh, truck bed liner spray can. And uh, right now, uh, right now just working on spraying that. So, uh, the driver's side is about done. Probably gonna do a couple more coats. Uh, trunk is in process. Need to go pick up some more cans. Uh, but as you can see here, this is where we patch. So we essentially just kind of cut out this bad section up to the wheel well and welded in a uh, new floorboard area here and a couple of small patches um, up in the kind of the foot well up there too and up along the side. Um, doesn't look great, but it works and it's uh, it's what we need or what I need. So um, we got a spot in the back here, uh, back behind the transmission. And then there's a spot where the seat was hitting uh, that needed to get patched to. So we did that. Only spots that I've left are these seatbelt areas. I'm actually have new seatbelts right now in the garage. I um, just haven't had time to take this whole assembly off and all that stuff to get them um, put on. So this whole section is going to get cut off and re-welded and then re-drilled for new seatbelts along with that one as well. The seatbelts are kind of junky, old, and broken. So I replace the seats. Why not replace seatbelts? Just plain black ones. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you can see that side's not done. Go look at the uh, passenger side floorboard. And this one was the really bad one. So most of the floorboard on here was actually replaced. So you can see the seat's still on the side because I just didn't plan on painting it yet. All the way up in the corners, patched on the transmission where the hole was, and then the floorboard up in the corner as well. Um, this one I have to prep pretty good to get the paint on, but last time I drove it and it was raining, there was still leaking coming from up top. So I need to actually spend some time to figure out where that's coming from before I paint it. So make sure there's nothing else I need to patch or just fill with some JB Weld or something, um, which is what I am doing for some of the last little bits and pieces. Right. Um, another thing that I did, um, recently and I should have probably vlogged this, but I didn't, was the <coughs> transmission gasket um, for the manual transmission. <coughs> What's cracking, sorry. The gasket for the manual transmission was the part of the reason why I was getting so much hot air in the truck. You can see it if we get down here where those rivets are. Um, but the rivets were missing. There was like two bolts holding that whole gasket on and it was just shooting hot air out everywhere. Which is part of the reason why I was getting the hot air in here. It was getting kind of super hot in the truck, um, aside from the floorboards. So I pulled off the whole center console, um, re-riveted in the gasket, because the gasket was fine, it was just pulled up. Um, attempted to fix my reverse switch, which I fixed it, but doesn't want to work now. This is what it is, I guess. Um, what the heck? Um, this is what it is, I guess. But resealed that up, re-put the dash in. I did a really good clean on the dash too, actually, since I've gotten the truck, uh, or the center console, I'm sorry. Um, dash is still really dirty from doing all the floors and all the grinding and stuff. So truck's gonna get a really good detail after everything's set and done. But both new seats are in, floors are about done, and I have the uh, sound dampener and insulation ready as well. I picked that up <clears throat> for a good bit of it at least. Um, I did toss the rear seats. I have no intent of putting those back in. Um, I plan on doing some overland stuff back here and uh, don't plan on having kids 
So I have no need for a rear seat except for, for dogs, but I'm gonna build a dog bed for the back um, in due time. So this is pretty much what we're looking at right now. And uh, kind of the big project right now is to finish up the floors. Uh, once I finish up the floors, um, I've got a kajillion other projects I gotta work on, so I'll kind of shift gears. Uh, I still got a window motor to replace, and uh, I still got a, I don't know, there's just so much stuff to do. <laughs> um but yeah so that's pretty much what's going on with the floors i've been updating just because i've been trying to get this done and it's been hot um so the floors have just been kind of just a uh get it done get it done quick and you know call it a day so that's what's going on with the rover right now uh apologies for not doing a lot of posting recently um hopefully get back into that pretty soon we've got a lot of life changes coming right now um <clears throat> so i can't guarantee that i'll be posting a lot but Hope to. Um, until next time, guys. Thank you.